Alright, so this just finished, I let it go again. And um, this is what it should look like right before you burn it. So I'll show you everything here. As you can see, everything's blue and green. There's no yellow, there's no red. That's what you want to be looking for. If you don't see any of that, you can exit out and you are good to burn your game. I'm going to show you what to do now to burn that. Uh, many people like to use DVD decryptor or IMG burn, image burn. I always call it IMG burn. Um, I don't like image burn, personally. Um, DVD decryptor came first, and I've never had issues with DVD decryptor, so I'd probably go for that more. But image burn, I've had many problems on every PC I've used with it. Um, I, I somehow get coasters with it. Not all the time, but I get a fair amount of coasters. So I don't like image burn. Um, if I could choose between the two, um, I'd pick DVD decryptor. But instead, I don't, I don't use either of those actually. I have the programs, but uh, my favorite is Clone CD. Clone CD, uh, I mean you have to pay for it, but you can get a trial of it if you want to. Um, pretty much with Clone CD, the, um, what is it? It's very basic, but it's easy to use. It's powerful, it does the job. That's what I like so much about it. Um, got my DVD right here. I use Memorex DVD Plus R DLs. And uh, many people say get verbatims. They are, um, get the verbatims made in Singapore because they're the best. Um, I can't confirm this. I have not used verbatims. However, my buddy who I bought my 360 off of, he gave me like 20 games with it. And he told me, I asked him about that verbatim thing because he used Memorex. He told me only use Memorex. And I asked why. And he said because Memorex is the best. They are cheaper also. But um, he was telling me Memorex has less read errors and they are better than verbatims. Now, I personally don't believe that. I think verbatims are better. But I haven't had an issue with Memorex. Um, there are some people, they say like Samsung drives are kind of picky with those. But it really depends. Um, my experience, I have a Hitachi drive on my flashed system. I've never had any issues with Memorex, and the system's a few years old, and it's only been reading Memorex discs, and there's been no issues. So anyways, from here, you have to go, and you pick your .dvd file. I got it right there, called Juarez the Cartel. That's what the layer break should be, 1913.760. That's how it is on every 360 game. So what you do, you do that and run it at 2.4x. Now there are some DVD drives, like this DVD drive was one of them, and this one also was one of them too. Uh, this one I did not flash though. Um, some DVD drives do not want to do 2.4x, so you have to go into the firmware and patch it if you want to do that. Because these two drives would only go down to 4x, but not 2.4. Uh, that's a completely different thing, I'm not even going to get into that. But, um, unless there's enough demand. But this drive, I ended up patching the firmware on it, so I forced it um, for my Memorex discs to burn down to 2.4x. Because I don't want them to burn at 4. Anyways, you just go ahead, pick that. It's already on DV. There's only one function you can choose. Click OK, and let it go. A full 360 game at 2.4x speed is going to take probably about no more than 42, 43 minutes. So you can go ahead, you could watch TV, you can take a nap, play another game, do whatever. I'm going to get out of the house, so I'm going to resume this video when I come back. But while I'm leaving, I'm just going to let my game burn. 